Hey everyone, this is Julia Romanoli with John Deere, Production Systems Specialist for Hay and Forage. And we are on location today at Maple Leaf Farms for the North American Manure Expo. So we can't do a, a large uh, demo or a large event this year, but we are doing some smaller infield demos. And part of that is featuring our Harvest Lab 3000. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this Harvest Lab 3000 and how it works and its applications. So right off the bat, this is something that's not a new technology. We've had it out for quite a few years, since 2007. And you would have known it on board the forge harvester to measure moisture as well as feed ingredients or in a stationary analysis to look at fermented feed. Uh, we have this new third application today uh, that's been out since 2019 for manure. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that in a minute, but first we're gonna look at this harvest lab in a stationary analysis. So what I have here is our harvest lab with our tabletop. I went out to the bunk and grabbed just a nice sample, a nice bowl full of corn silage. We're gonna do a feed analysis today. And really what this is doing is it's a near infrared sensor. It's going to spin the sample to get good presentation. Today we're just gonna do one sample just for the sake of the video, but typically I like to do three. So I'll take one, I'll mix up that sample, I'll repack it, I'll take another two samples. This gives me a really good feel for what's in that bowl. Because really when it comes to feed, feed is really variable. Uh, I like to think about a bunk of feed as a bowl of Skittles and each Skittle represents a different color because every handful of feed could be a red Skittle, it could be a blue Skittle. You're gonna see that there's some variability in that feed. So right off the bat with this corn silage, we're gonna look at our report just to see what we have um, really for variability in that feed. Okay, so here's our Harvest Lab 3000 tabletop analysis. And you can see it's just hooked up to our laptop with an ethernet cable. So it's gonna create its own network. I just bring up a web browser and it's its own program. So you don't have to download any special software to be able to read and control the Harvest Lab. So what we're looking at here is analysis and reports. And here's where I can set up a customer profile, say what kind of crop we want to look at. So here I have corn silage that's in siloed, so it's fermented. And I've selected to have all the ingredients in the report. If I go here and I click start new analysis, it's going to tell me to place that sample material to be analyzed in the bowl. And then I can go ahead and hit continue. So from here, it's gonna take a reading of that sample. It's gonna spin that sample to get a good presentation, a good average idea of what's in that glass bowl. And once this is done, it's going to give you the report of what it saw. So today I just showed one pass. Typically I like to do three passes for the sample in the bowl just so that I can get a good idea and mix that up um, so we get a good average measurement of that sample. But you can see that we have a glass bottom bowl here. So we wanna keep that material packed in nice and tight into that bowl. And that's where the light in the NIR shines on the base of that bowl to get that reading. So from here I can hit complete analysis. And this is where it's gonna allow me to select a customer. as well as a source. And then I can save that report and send it to my nutritionist or to any trusted advisor as I make feed and, and management decisions. So we've talked about this Harvest Lab 3000 and it's really application in both a stationary feed analysis and knowing that it can also be on board that self-propelled forage harvester. What's new is this application in manure. So in 2019 in North America, we introduced manure constituent sensing, and that allows us to mount our Harvest Lab 3000 on board a drag line or a tanker for real-time manure analysis. So what we have here today, we, we partnered with Cross Country and they are letting us use their unit today, their 8R250 with our drag line with the Harvest Lab 3000. So here we can see on this drag line, we have our flow meter, so that's an important component where we're able to sense the flows, the gallons per acre 
of that manure that's going through that pipe, reading that by the harvest lab. What you'll see as well is this harvest lab is mounted on a skateboard and that allows us to get right in the flow so we can get a good presentation of that manure. As that manure is going through the pipe, we're taking 4,000 readings per second with near-infrared technology and we're measuring the moisture or the dry matter of that manure. We're looking at the volume based on the data from the flow meter. We're also measuring our total nitrogen, ammonia nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, uh, and, and um, this gives us six different ingredients that we can measure and look at in the cab. So not only is this allowing us to put on a lens and really see what we're applying and where, it's now solving this really this question about what's in our manure and really helping us view manure not just as this substance that fills up the pit that we have to empty out every year and, and get rid of, but now we can unlock some of that potential and some of that value of these nutrients that are so important. So let's think about down the road being able to limit your granular fertilizer application to know that you can collect your harvest, your yield maps and use that as well as soil analysis to, to make a map and even execute a prescription of your manure. And those are all things that we can do and all with the potential of this harvest lab. So in addition to the way that it's mounted here, being able to see what's in that manure, we also have the ability to do some control. So what we have on the front of this drag line is an 8R250 tractor with a IVT Command Pro transmission. And with that, what we can do is we can actually set a target rate on a nutrient basis. So as opposed to just saying, I wanna set a target 7,000 gallons per acre rate of my dairy manure, I can say target for 75 pounds per acre of total nitrogen. The tractor through tractor implement automation is going to automatically speed up or slow down so I can hit that target. And you know, we talked about the variability of feed that exists like Skittles in a bowl. And when it goes through the animal, that variability doesn't go away. It's also variable on the way out and in the pit. So this is allowing us to control some of that to create some more uniform application. And like I say, unlock some potential and add technology to this age-old practice of manure application.